6. Natural Anti-Inflammatories to Avoid Drugs Many people struggle every day with inflammation. There are often chronic problems that force long-term use of anti-inflammatory drugs. The problem is that while these drugs are useful, they always bring with them side effects that should be avoided. In this video we talk about 6 anti-inflammatory foods that you can use without limitations, restrictions for your health, instead of drugs and without side effects. According to many doctors and scientists around the world, over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs are now considered one of the biggest threats to human health. If in the past the doctor hesitated to prescribe an anti-inflammatory drug because it could cause stomach ulcers, today some drugs do not have this contraindication and can therefore be purchased without a prescription. These drugs do not cause ulcers, but they still have very serious effects on the intestine, especially on the bacterial flora of the colon and small intestine. In the long run, those who use and abuse anti-inflammatories, even if they only take one a day, destroy all the healthy intestinal bacteria, leading to dysbiosis, poor digestion and increased systemic inflammation, which is why they were taking anti-inflammatories. After this necessary premise, where it is strongly advisable to minimize the use of anti-inflammatory drugs, only when necessary let's see instead what natural alternatives offer the same advantages and benefits, while avoiding a series of long-term drug problems. The biggest problem is always the acute situation and the ability to understand how the right choice in the short term will also bring long-term benefits. Too often we choose to take anti-inflammatory drugs or get immediate relief at the expense of future negative consequences. This happens in all areas of life and is even more evident when it comes to health. If you are injured, have a headache or inflammation and stomach pain, and decide to take an anti-inflammatory, you are delaying the problem for temporary relief but exponentially increasing the problem long term. The end result is that we become loyal customers of pharmaceutical companies because we always need more and more often because the body gets used to the initial effect of anti-inflammatories and demands more and more. In a situation of chronic inflammation, more and more problems appear, side effects are more clearly visible, and the doctor encounters difficulties. On the one hand, he does not know what to prescribe to help you. On the other, there are so many different symptoms that affect the whole body, from the skin to the intestine, from widespread pain that he does not know where. Start, mainly it should purify the body from anti-inflammatory drugs, but often prescribes even more powerful drugs, such as cortisone, to alleviate discomfort and calm the patient. This is why it is important to understand the causes of problems, work on lifestyle and eating habits to change them adding something positive that first prevents inflammatory states and then little by little improves them without unwanted consequences. The first recommended item is turmeric, a plant that grows mainly in India and Asia, from which a root is obtained, also available at the supermarket. Turmeric is a food that has always been used in Chinese and Indian medicine for its anti-inflammatory properties. But its real advantage is that it not only has anti-inflammatory effects, but also many other benefits for the body. That's why it's so important and useful. Inflammation is a series of body reactions in response to potential dangers or traumas. It is a process that does not always need to be interrupted, but especially in the acute phase it is preferable because it is a repair and defense mechanism. However, if it becomes chronic, it can have a negative effect on the body and we want to reduce it. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory over-the-counter drugs only interrupt one phase of the inflammatory process but do not influence or rather negatively influence all the other possible causes of the problem. Turmeric has been shown to have the same effect as over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs and should therefore be preferred along with these drugs, not only because it reduces inflammation, but also for its immense gastroprotective, liver-protecting and anti-cancer properties. Turmeric has choleretic properties, that is, it stimulates the production of bile, which allows better digestion of fats, and is also choleretic, that is, it has the ability to promote the release of bile from the gallbladder, preventing the formation of gallstones. But its benefits do not end there. Another important aspect is that turmeric is a powerful antioxidant. On the one hand, it combines with free radicals neutralizing them. On the other, it stimulates the body to produce antioxidants and therefore anti-aging enzymes. Turmeric also stimulates the production of neurotrophins, and this makes it a very useful food to prevent the risk of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's increasing new neuronal connections and thus improving memory. If you suffer from cardiovascular problems or are at high risk of myocardial infarction, you should definitely add turmeric to your diet because it has a positive effect on the endothelium and makes it more flexible and elastic. 
The endothelium is the inner lining of blood vessels, arteries, which can thicken and stiffen in cardiovascular disease, making them more susceptible to tears or lesions. Studies have shown that turmeric has effects similar to statins. In a group of people undergoing bypass surgery, taking turmeric before and after surgery reduced the risk of post-operative heart attacks by 65%. But if one effect is particularly interesting, it is its cancer-preventing effects, both preventively and in terms of improving prognosis when the tumor is already present, especially in the gastrointestinal tract. Turmeric has the ability to reduce the formation of malignant tumor cells and prevent angiogenesis, that is the growth of new blood vessels that feed the growing tumor mass. For these reasons, it is better to prefer turmeric for the numerous benefits described. Over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs. As a dose, it is important to take at least 1000 mg per day. But to enhance its effect, black pepper can be added, which multiplies the effect of turmeric by 2000 times. Tablets with this combination of ingredients are already available commercially, or it can be purchased as a powder and added to salads or herbal teas. Other recommended foods are ginger, also originating from India and China, and also turmeric, whose root is used for its medicinal properties. Several studies show that ingestion significantly reduces the perception of pain and improves mobility in patients with osteoarthritis and chronic joint stiffness. But like turmeric, ginger has many other benefits for the body, not just anti-inflammatory. It is very effective in reducing nausea in pregnant women and cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy and reduces post-exercise muscle pain. Its ability to control and lower blood sugar is important, which is why many consider it a good natural remedy against diabetes. It also lowers LDL cholesterol and is therefore useful in preventing cancer and infections. If you suffer from gastroesophageal reflux disease, ginger facilitates and accelerates the exit of food from the stomach by up to 50%, so consuming it just before a meal helps digestion and avoids reflux symptoms. Another very common anti-inflammatory herb in Italian cuisine, especially Calabrian, is cayenne pepper, which contains capsaicin. In addition to its anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, and antioxidant effects, capsaicin is useful for reducing pain, especially in chronic pain where there is suffering but not necessarily inflammation. Taking capsaicin both in foods and topically as an ointment on the skin, on painful joints, is an excellent tool to relieve pain and restore mobility. It can be added as a powder to herbal teas or preparations based on water, lemon and apple cider vinegar. It also has a temporary effect of enhancing metabolism and fat burning. Finally, it has been shown to decrease production of the hunger hormone, ghrelin, which helps reduce appetite and aids in easier weight loss. However, be careful of interactions with some anticoagulants like aspirin, so it is advisable to consult your doctor before taking large amounts of chili pepper. Another anti-inflammatory nutrient is omega-3 which is found in fish, nuts and seeds especially flaxseed. These are essential fatty acids whose intake must be well balanced with omega-6s. However, omega-6 fatty acids are often excessively included in the Western diet, for example with sunflower oil used for frying, or in many packaged foods leading to imbalance. This is why it is important to increase the daily intake of omega-3 fatty acids by eating fatty fish, salmon, nuts or seeds or supplements. Algae are the main source of omega-3 fatty acids for fish, so consuming them directly is an excellent way to get this nutrient and avoid transfer to fish. Finally, the last recommended food to consume daily is green tea. Green tea is rich in catechins, substances with anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, and antioxidant properties. Green tea is good for the whole body. It is highly recommended even during intermittent fasting because the positive effects of this practice are not affected by the consumption of green tea, coffee, or water. Conclusion. It is better to avoid the use of pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories when possible, because the immediate benefits often lead to long-term problems. On the contrary, the daily introduction of these six natural foods is beneficial both immediately and in the long term, because they have a very positive effect on the whole body. Turmeric, ginger, rosemary, chili, omega-3, and green tea should be part of the daily diet and enrich food with colors and spices to make it tastier and healthier. It is good that children get used to knowing, smelling and combining spices from an early age to develop their sensory abilities and relationship with food. Better with spices than with salt. If you liked the video we invite you to subscribe and comment to help us improve the content produced. We would appreciate your appreciation.